the fundamentals of linen. You'll remember from the lessons on glassware that glassware has two purposes. Guests drink from it, but it also looks beautiful on the table. The same is true of linen. Guests use napkins to wipe their mouths, for example, but the linen also contributes to a soft, finished look in the dining room. In this lesson, you'll learn about the types of linen found in service, cleanliness and hygiene, and the storage of linen. Let's begin with the types of linen. There are three important types of linen that you are likely to use in the restaurant. Underlays, overlays and napkins. Let's start with underlays. Underlays and overlays are both tablecloths. An underlay is a tablecloth that is placed directly onto the surface of a table and is usually a big, more hard-wearing piece of material which should reach just above the floor. It helps to protect the table and gives the dining room a full, finished appearance. When setting the underlay, or any linen, onto a table, ensure that the hems are as hidden as possible. For tablecloths, this means placing them with the hems showing inward. If the hems are showing, it looks untidy and careless. Also ensure that no part of the underlay touches the floor. If it does, pin it up so that the material is raised from the floor. This will prevent the underlay from getting dirty and will also help to avoid accidents with guests tripping over the underlay. Moving on to overlays. The overlay is usually a smaller, more delicate tablecloth that is placed over the underlay to decorate the table. Because the overlay is part of the table dressing that guests see, it is obviously important that it is clean and neat at all times. When setting the overlay on top of the underlay, make sure that it is straight and hanging equally all around the table. The table should look neat and uniform the whole way around. Often you can use the middle fold of the underlay to help you place it in the middle of the table. Lastly, napkins. Napkins are provided to the guest to put on their lap during the meal. This protects their clothing if anything falls from the plate and the guest can also use it to wipe their mouth and hands. Because it comes into contact with the guest's mouth, it is very important that the napkin is clean and germ-free. Cloth napkins create a sense of occasion and elegance to the dining room experience. But if you have a more relaxed style of service at your establishment, you might use paper napkins. If so, remember to treat them in the same way that you would linen napkins. It is a mindset like this which will allow you to maintain excellent standards at your restaurant. For example, because paper napkins blow away in the wind, be sure to anchor them down on windy days. Now that you're familiar with the different types of linen used in service, let's take a look at cleanliness and hygiene. Linen is one of the most noticeable aspects of the whole dining area and it gives the guest a very strong first impression about the cleanliness and hygiene of your establishment. That's why it is very important that linen is clean, neat and hygienic at all times. Eating while staring at a dirty tablecloth or wiping your mouth with a dirty napkin will leave the guests feeling disgusted. To ensure that you always provide the guest with clean linen, remember to check linen for stains, marks, frays or holes before setting the table. If you find a stain or damage on any table linen, remove it and inform your manager so that it never finds its way onto the guest's table. When it comes to hygiene and cleanliness, the napkins at your establishment need extra special attention. This is because guests will be using them to wipe their mouths and hands during the meal. If a guest's napkin falls onto the floor during service, pick it up and bring the guest a new, clean napkin. This is an example of professional and thoughtful service and your guests will really appreciate your care. Remember that our hands transfer germs and bacteria. So before folding napkins, ensure that your hands are clean and sanitized. Also, try to touch the napkin as little as possible. Similarly, when you are working with napkins during service, make sure that you always handle the napkin by its corners to minimize contact between the napkin and your hand. Finally, storing linen. 
When storing linen, as always, you must ensure that the storage cupboards and shelves are clean and hygienic. This means that you should always check storage areas regularly. Check that they are clean, tidy and that they look and smell fresh. When storing linen, store all similar items together. Underlays with other underlays and overlays with overlays. This makes them easy to find, even if all the linen at your establishment is white. When placing linen in the storage area, also place it so that the inverted folds are facing towards you. If you place it the other way around, with two folds showing, it's much harder to see how many pieces of linen are on the shelf. To summarize, you should now be able to identify the different types of linen you're likely to find in the dining area, understand the importance of cleanliness and hygiene when it comes to linen, and know how to correctly store linen. Well done.